we are the manufacturer of the SUS. It's an all-in-one machine that can 3D scan, 3D print, and 3D edit on board. This year at CES, we are showing like our um, innovations on the software side particularly. We have a search functionality where you can directly on the machine um, search for like a keyword, for example, trucks, and then um, our machine will instantly search through the databases on the internet uh, like for these 3D models that have the name tag uh, trucks in them, and then they um, show all these 3D model files and you can directly on the machine print out these files that you can find on the internet. I think that's one of the big innovations that we bring on board. And then the other um, innovations that we have, it's like the world's first onboard 3D app store. So you can literally customize anything from like little screws to like iPhone cases. You can build your own robots in a customizable uh, program that we have on board. So you can do a lot of like editing, um, personalizing, um, you can put, put name tags on objects. I think this edit uh, functionality on board of a printer is uh, um, an industry first um, that we introduced this year to the market. We saw like from our clients that the demand for kiosk style uh, 3D printers increased a lot. So for example, schools, libraries, um, all these institutions, especially educational institutions, uh, want to like to place printers at uh, locations where people can easily access them and don't need like to bring an entire computer along or USB sticks. They can just like directly access content um, through an internet connected machine like ours um, um, in these locations. I would say like a lot of 3D printers focus like on, 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 on things like how many materials can I print with? How fast can I print with it? But the usability um, was, there was really no innovation happening. And I think uh, through our inbuilt, like a built-in built computer and uh, touchscreen, I think we, we, we brought 3D printing to a new level that you really have like standalone machines where, where the usability and user friendliness um, is a lot higher because you, you, you no longer operate um, 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 with, with, with little buttons um, um, on, on, on the machine where you only have an SD card and not a lot of interaction with the printer. Now you interact actually over a touch screen with the machine and uh, have a lot more um, flexibility um, how, how to, to 3D print and 3D scan. From a, from a hardware standpoint, we upgraded the, the SUS to a SUS Plus version. Um, so it's pretty much our second production line. Our flagship product is still the SUS. The SUS Plus is just like an extension with a heating bed and an air filter. So that means if you want to print with materials like ABS, nylon, polycarbonate, um, things that, uh, like materials that actually have a little bit more toxic um, 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 a smell. Um, uh, we, we can directly filter in the machine, but we can also offer that customers can print uh, these kind of materials in the SUS. And our regular SUS product can print in all kinds of PLA, PLA based uh, composite materials. Um, and yeah, um, so these are the two differentiations that we brought along to the market this year. We won the um, honorary award um, of uh, CES 2016. Um, this award was specifically for the SUS Plus for the hardware extension, the heating bed, plus the air filter, plus all the software innovations, um, the search functionality, and the app store um, that is all integrated in our SUSE production line.